All right, welcome back to Final Fantasy XIV. Let's get up in here and get the Suppressive Strategy, our next Machinist class quest. Trying to catch up on them a little bit. Um, suppressive Strategy. Well, Steven wishes to discuss strategy for the upcoming tourney. Let's discuss. Greetings, Tick Man. The trading proceeds apace, I trust. Stay a while and we can discuss our strategy for the tourney. Would appear everyone is present, even our dear instructor. So let us delve into the particulars of the upcoming contest. Now, the degree of favor the Holy See bestows is much influenced by the outcome of the tourney, and thus do the nobles enter only their most able champions. I assume that the Talagerini, in his small-minded maliceness, seeks to humiliate us before the adjudicators, and thereby convince the Holy See to cease the flow of funds to the manufacturer. I don't understand, my lordship. Most of Shin Gardens ain't hardly aware that machinists exist. Why we're so grabbed, Lord? Why we so grabbed, Lord Chenich's attention? That's because he's likely noticed that your firearm can kill a man with not but your dainty little finger on the trigger. Just the same reason there's laws in the Melosa will prevent any old drunken horse from carrying a musket. And this guardian's etchery ain't exactly fair and measured now, is it? If you arm the lowest folk on the ladder with weapons like ours, then you can be sure as the tie that their barrels soon be pointed toward them overprivileged bastards. What stand at the top? But, as you say, most of the nobles don't seem to understand the threat that an army of machinists could pose. This Tetelegerum broke is a step ahead. I'll give him that much. Aye, he's a despicable fellow, but also uncommon clever. Even so, he has failed to arrive at the most obvious conclusion. A well-trained and well-armed populace would strengthen Ishingar's defense tenfold. And if we are to convince the Holy See of that fact, then we must claim victory at the turning. You get some special in mind then? I've been considering several strategies, but to practice them here in plain view of our adversaries would void their effectiveness. We must needs look farther afield for a suitable location to train. Blood Shore and Isla Nosa ought to do the trick. I'll secure us a place where we can shoot to our heart's content. Joy, pray and make preparations for the journey. After you have attended to your duties at the manor, of course. As for you to command, I would have you test another of my innovations. Remain behind, I shall make some adjustments to your ether transformer. Hopefully you make it better. Anybody here to speak to? Just you, Steven. Forgive my duplicity, Tick Man. That talk of adjustments was merely an excuse so that we might speak alone. Oh, great. So you're not improving my job? Now that you heard me, boast to my father, the machinist companies could soon form the backbone of our defense. That was something of an exaggeration. When it comes to gigantic dragons, I, one may as well be firing at the side of a barber barbican. In the tourney, however, the lesser size of our opponents will work against us. It requires intensive training to con constantly track and score hits against the target that are both small and agile. And as there is but little time left before the contest, our victory will depend largely upon your skilled contribution. 
If Joy is able to display even a fraction of your battle seve, then the reputation of the machinists will flourish. Thus, I need you to attend our practice with undivided focus and prove a shining example to which she might aspire. Okay, so a suppressive strategy got us some XP. And that was it for the level 45 quest. We just had to, uh, just had to talk to him. But we have another level 45 quest coming up tomorrow. So join us then when we take it off. Until then, y'all take care.